Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Again, we're focusing on Easter. We're looking at the words of Jesus from the cross. This coming weekend is Easter weekend, and we're going to have an extra service. So we've got services uh, on Saturday at 3.30 and 5, and Sunday at 8 o'clock, our classic service at McCulloch. Plus, we've got our 9.30 and 11 at Sweetwater and our 11 o'clock service in Parker. Hope you can join us in person or online either way. Uh, and again, if you normally come on Sunday, uh, think about coming on Saturday at 3.30 or 5 and fill those up so we have room for our guests that come on Sunday. Hey, if you've ever felt forsaken, Jesus knows how you feel. From the cross, Jesus cries out, Matthew 27, 46, and about the ninth hour, Jesus cried out with a loud voice saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, that is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And, and, and this is challenging to hear from Jesus, but it's also much debated as to its meaning. See, I grew up hearing, well, that was when God put the, the sin of the world on Jesus and his father looked away because he couldn't look on sin. And I grew up hearing that and thought, okay. And there's even songs we sing that, that kind of echo that thought. Um, and, uh, and yes, theologically, I do believe that Jesus cried this out when, when maybe the sin of the world uh, was placed on him spiritually and the perfect sinless son of God tasted the sin, the pain of sin as the lamb of God. And it was far worse a pain than anything physical he was suffering. Uh, so Jesus felt forsaken in that moment, but was he actually forsaken by God in that moment? Did heaven look away, as it were? Well, I believe that Jesus was praying Psalm 22. Yes, I believe that Jesus in that moment when he cried out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? was actually referencing a psalm that everybody there would have recognized when he cried out. So listen to this Song because Psalm, because I think Jesus felt forsaken, but I don't think biblically he was forsaken. He's, the Psalm begins, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me from the words of my groaning? Oh my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but I find no rest. I am but a worm and not a man, scorned by mankind and despised by the people. All who see me mock me. They make mouths at me. They wag their heads. He trusts in the Lord. Let the Lord deliver him. Let God rescue him, for he delights in him. Then how about this? I am poured out like water. All of my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is melted within my breast. My strength is dried up like a pot shirt, and my tongue sticks to my jaws. You lay me in the dust of death, for dogs encompass me. A company of evildoers encircles me. They have pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. They stare and gloat over me. They divide my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. It's a prophecy about the cross, about the crucifixion of Jesus. And Jesus from the cross is identifying himself with Psalm 22. And he says, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Yes, he felt forsaken, but... In the midst of that despair, hear the hope that is also in Psalm 22. Verse 22 says, I will tell of your name to my brothers. In the midst of the congregation, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you offspring of Jacob, glorify him and stand in awe of him. All of you offspring of Israel, for he has not despised or abhorred the affliction of the afflicted. And he has not hidden his face from him but has heard when he cried to him. Did you catch that? God didn't hide his face from him. Jesus is saying God hasn't hidden his face from him. Even though Jesus felt forsaken, he said, I know God is with me and he has a plan for me because he loves me. So when you feel forsaken, when you feel lost, when you feel hopeless and broken, know that you're in good company because Jesus knows how you feel. He can relate to that feeling, but he also wants you to relate to his faith. Put your trust in God, for he has not forsaken you, and he has not hidden his face from you. Just wait, and redemption will come.
I hope that helps. I hope that blesses. And I hope that encourages you today.